who is 100% bedridden with an amazing caregiver. She would get to my home at 7. And when I would work late, she'd be there from 7 to 6.30. If I had events, she'd be there. But on the weekends, it was George and I. And the first three years of our marriage, he lived in Memphis. So I only saw my husband on the weekends. And people would be like, how? And I think you can do anything when you have purpose. We created a strategic plan around music development. Everything that we are doing is because of the love we have for young people. You cannot imagine like you becoming president, seven people, you meet your soulmate. You build an institution from 7 to 45, 15 part-time, you got 10 openings, 1 million to 11 million, and every day you have joy. Every day. You guys see us all the time. I don't think you have ever seen not one of us. I could be having a bad day, but when I walk in the room and I see y'all, it's the gift. Watching you grow, develop, articulate. When we had the youth march and facilitated the conversation with the sports executives and with law enforcement, and you providing us with the template to do the work. We already know how gifted you are. We already know how brilliant each one of you are. So when you know your gifts, the world will see us different. That's why the exposure, people always say, your model, oh, no, we engage, y'all engage. We have, y'all are accountable. You in this room, y'all all getting a stipend today. Maybe. Y'all getting it. I'm already playing. $120. They, they didn't know that. Well, they that's all right. They know now. Now you're going to be motivated. But some of them already ain't getting the $120. So it's, uh, <laughs> it's always time to turn it around. There we go. I'm, see, that's the balance. You see? Well, no, I mean, but some of them already lost a little bit of it, but it's, but it's it, good. It, they, they, they not but you can get it's still back. early. It's still you can, early. It's still yeah. early. You can do a little bit more to show up and do more. Always. Always. That is my philosophy. That's why we balance out. Um, and so um, the more that you guys are engaged, the gifts will happen for you. And literally, again, Take advantage of all of it. You might not understand it, and one day you might just like, oh my God, I got it. So I always say, even when you're not paying attention, pay attention. Because every opportunity is an opportunity for you and your family. I can't make someone be present. You have control of that. All we can do is give you the tools, open up, your horizon, so you guys are always ready. All right. Grammy, Grammy, Grammy. So, so um, you know, we said when you, when you're at the table, I like it, right? Right. And there's all there's moments in time where they don't come back again, right? There are people who walk in your life, and you may not get a chance again to have an intimate opportunity, right? So I think um, Teresa asked if anyone had any questions, you know. Mine's not a question. I just want to show my expression of gratitude and let you know that I'm extremely thankful for you. And now this is just for everybody. Like, I appreciate everything that you do for us, uh, all the doors you open, how patient you are for us, like, just the grooming and the, the loyalty and everything. Like, you really, really care for us. Yeah, people care for me. Yeah. That's it. I think, um, when you grow up with unconditional love, and unconditional love comes from many different, not just your parents. That's the gifts that people shared with me. And I think every time someone has given something of themselves to me to help me 
to develop into the woman that I am, I have a responsibility. Um, I always talk about we don't own anything. Um, and the more that you give, more comes in. Um, you don't grow from a million to 11 million unless you are giving it freely. And the more that we give, the more opportunities come back to Brother say, Like, I can't even, the blessings that God has us, literally, it, it is so beyond what I could ever imagine. We, so Thursday was a tough day for me. I'm driving, getting ready to go to an event. Actually, it was Wednesday. I get a call. We have this big event, December 9th, honoring Nikki Betts. Some of you will be in the room. But Babyface was our entertainment. I get a call from his, the person who I did the deal with. They like, Babyface can't do it. I got a contract. Let's be clear. Oh, you got to turn off the recording. 